What is up guys, Sync TV here, back at it again with another video. Today we're going with a Guardians fan reaction to the off season. This is a new part. This is going to be part one of it, but it's a new series that I'm doing. And I'm just going to react to the moves that Guardians make in the off season. Alright, first move is adding George Flair. This needed to happen or he was going to get selected by... Whatever trash team wants to put a Rule 5 guy on their team. Maybe the Orioles, because the Orioles have done it in the past with the Indians with Anthony Santander. Next, Tyler Freeman, also not a surprise. He needed to be on there. Same thing with Rokio. Rokio is a really good, really good shortstop. They needed to add him. Same thing with Tana, also a really good shortstop. He actually is leading the league the Arizona Fall League in uh, batting title right now. He leads the Arizona Fall League as the fourth youngest player uh, in average. So that's pretty good. Richie Palacios also needed added. He had a heck of a year last year. He could play outfield and uh, middle infield, so good add. He also, I think, could play third. Steven Kwan, also a good add. He's been playing pretty well, but... I don't know if they should have done it just because of one reason that I'll get to later. Next, Cody Morris. This needed to happen just with how his numbers were this year. His numbers were insane. Like, I'll show you his numbers in a minute. And right here, you can see his numbers. He went 2-2 two and two this year with a 162 ERA, 15 games played, 14 started, 61 innings pitched, 41 hits allowed. 16 runs, 11 earned, 3 home runs, only in like 61 innings is insane. Through just under 1,000 pitches, 93 strikeouts, 20 saw balls, with a 1 whip. Yeah, that's just insane numbers. With parts with, he played with the AZL Indians in a rehab start for 1 game. Uh, Akron, he pitched 5 games for him. And Columbus, he pitched nine games for him, and he started eight. All right, next, we got Brian Labastida. Same thing with him. He had crazy numbers this year. He went off. Like, man went off. He's a catcher, future Indians catcher in the future. What did really well defensively, too, which he was a community college shortstop when he first came up, and... He had really good numbers. Also, show you his numbers too. All right, right here you can see in 287 at bats, he had a 289 average, 380 OP, OBP, and an 836 OPS. With parts of his season, most playing with Lake County of High A. He also played with uh, Akron of Double A. That's where he played his postseason at where Akron ended up winning the double-A ch championship. And he also played, like, a few games with Columbus, too. Didn't play much there, though. Next, we have Connor Pilkington. This was the guy they got in exchange for Cesar Hernandez, who pitched really well with the Akron Rubber Ducks when they got him. Uh, and next, they got Jean Kenzie Noel. Also a pretty good ad. Man needed to be protected. Yes, he's pretty young. He only played in Lake County and Lynchburg, which is high A and low A. But when he did play, he was insane. I got to show you his numbers. Here they are. All right, and here were his numbers. And th with three teams, he played six games in a rehab assignment with AZL. He didn't do amazing there, but he was just coming off an injury, so you can't really fault him there. With Lynchburg, they took forever to call him up. He should have never played 38 games at Lynchburg. 393 average, 426 OBP with a 693 slugging, which got him a 1,119 OPS, which is insane. Lake County, he went 280 average, 351 OBP and a 550 slugging, 901 OPS in 26 games. The thing with him is his defense at third base isn't the best, but it will get better, and... Also, they play him at third base, but he plays pretty decently at first. He's probably a future first baseman in the future, or a DH. In... In... 
And next, we got the guys who did DFA. Jet Johnson got DFA. Not a huge surprise. I'm expecting somebody to actually take a claim on him. I think he's good enough to be claimed by a team. Uh, next, JC. Well, yeah, it sucks for JC, but he didn't really belong in the majors. He barely, he didn't even play in Double A before this. Like, yeah, it was hard spot they put JC in, but. Yeah, I can see why. And here's the big one that I am not happy about. Harold Ramirez. But uh, why? Man did pretty well last year, and we're DFAing him. I, I expect somebody to claim him. He's a good enough player to claim, but why are we DFAing him? Uh, I could get it over everybody on that 40 man. That got added besides maybe Quan, but I also expect Quan to get picked up in the roll five if we didn't do that. They got put in a hard spot, but Harold, it hurts to lose him this year, but we'll see how he plays with another team. Uh, Justin Garza, not a huge surprise. He was decent when he did play, but he didn't play a whole lot. Uh, Scott Moss, he's been battling injuries a ton. Uh, he never played in the majors last year. Uh, Kyle Nelson, also not a huge surprise. He didn't really play much. Uh, next, we got Alex Young. Also, I'm not too mad about that because he pitched horribly when he did pitch with the Indians. And their big move on trading was getting Tobias Myers for Junior Caminero. Junior Caminero was second in DSL in home runs, which is the league right before AZL in the Dominican. Uh, he did really good, but Tobias Myers, a guy who was going to get picked in the Rule 5, we also put him on the 40-man. Uh, I don't really see why they had to do this move, but Tobias Myers, decent ad. I'm not too mad about it. But Junior Caminero, guy went off in Dominican this year. Was second in home runs. He had 9. 11 was the leader in, like, 50 games, they played like 50 or something. Something like that. But he did really well when he did play. But Tobias Myers has always done really well. He's had ERAs under four his whole career in the minors. Had a 390 with this year with great BB and K rates last season between AA and AAA. So I'm not too mad about that move, but it's just a move that didn't need to be done. But yeah, we'll take him. Why not? All right, that's pretty much going to do it for what the Indians have made moves on so far. All right, guys. I'll see you in the next one. See ya and goodbye.